Catfish people, what's up? Hey, coming to you from the comforts of the home. Hey, we've made two fishing trips. One to the New River and one to the dam in this video. So what we're going to do is, is this is, being it's football season, hey, it's a showdown. We fished the New River one night. Then we decided, let's come on back home. On down to the dam. Yeah. So we one and oh with the dam against the new river. Hey, y'all tune in. We got you some good footage. God bless and keep them lines tight. Fish people, what's up? Hey, here we go again driving. Hey, I know it ain't smart. And it probably really ain't smart. Because guess what we doing? We are cutting a trail through the Blue Ridge Parkway right now. That's right, we burning the candle at both ends. We are headed to the New River. We had to make a detour on this trip though because there's a little bait and tackle shop that I stop at sometime. Well, it's not a bait and tackle shop. They just sell a lot of bait. There's <clears throat> a little gas station. They sell minnows and stuff, but they sell a bait that I don't never buy, but there's a lot of butts in this one here. This bait can be very useful for where I'm going tonight. Stopped and got me some goldfish, y'all. That's right, I paid up for them. Oh my God, my wallet is kicking my butt right now. Why, why, why? Hey, why not? Let's try it. So I stopped and got me six goldfish. Got me some cut bait, bluegill. I got me some chicken. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna give it our all. We're gonna set up on the new river, like I said. Hokey Nation, baby, Hokey Nation. We're gonna spread it around. The sun is in my eyes. I'm sorry if it's a glare on the phone. I, like I said, I am driving one crooked back road, so I gotta pay attention. Hey, we're gonna drive the rest of this leg right here. We're gonna get up here and get set up with the two back in. Yeah, I give y'all just a little bit of scenery. Would y'all like to watch some of my driving conditions? These are the back roads down here where I live, y'all. I'm getting ready to pass a motorcycle and look at the space we got between us. I'm telling you, it's like a driveway. And these are our county, these are our county roads right here, y'all. Look, my truck takes up almost the whole highway. And I'm in a little Toyota two-wheel drive. Hey, look, y'all, this ain't no bull job. We have ran out of pavement. We are now going down the highway on crush and run gravel. When I tell y'all I'm back in the hills, I'm back in the hills. Hey, catfish people, what's going on? Well, we've had a dramatic change going on here. I can tell you what. I can't fish, I can't fish the 10 foot rod to Tall Hill. I can't get it casted out. I got no casting lane for it. Too much overhang. I hate that too because I really wanted to get out there deep. I came prepared for that actually. But the spot I was going to fish that I had looked into where I could have got it out, there's some people fishing. So I had to move down and I got a lot more cover. So I had to go to the truck and I had to break out one of my Berkeley Big Game rods. Brought it down here. As soon as I loaded it up with cut bait, got it casted out, I sat down. Something pulled it down. I didn't even get a chance to hit the button on the film, on the camera. I started reeling, it snagged, so I didn't even make no attempts to back up. So I sat there and fought with it for a few minutes. It was hung up or something, I don't know. And then all of a sudden my line just went limp. So I'm gonna let it sit there a few more minutes and I'm gonna reel it in, I'm gonna check my bait. But, uh, hey, I don't know, there's no telling. Like I said, I don't know all of the species of fish that are in this river. By no means. And by the size of the crawdads, and some people call them crawfish, that I have seen in this river, they baby lobsters. <laughs> so I can only imagine what the turtle look like in here. Oh my lord. Most definitely ain't the dam. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I'm going to give y'all an update. I feel like I'm sitting on Lake Burton playing with turtles. Everything I throw out, even the live bait, the turtles is eating it up. It wouldn't be so bad if I could hook one of them. I'd love to take a big old turtle home. But uh, I can't even get them. I can't even hook. I can't hook seven. I'm using circle hooks. It don't really matter, but I I can't hook seven. I, I, I didn't try it. They tap, 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 tap. I reach, pick a rod up. I jerk back. Nothing. Really bait in is chewed all to pieces. I don't know. Hey, it's a learning experience. Catfish people, what's up? Hey, y'all see where we at? Hey, this is part two to the other night. It didn't go very well. Had a lot of bad camera. Tried to go live on Facebook and it just killed it. So, if y'all sat through that part of the film to get to this part, Hopefully tonight we'll be able to have better luck and we'll catch you some fish. That being said, I got the rods ready to go. We're going to bait them up and we're going to cast them out. I'm using uh, fresh caught bluegill. We're going to do cut bait. They're not live. And uh, chicken. Because that is what has been the baits that has been the best for me. They've worked just about everywhere I've went. Uh, so, hey, no need in changing it up. Hopefully when we come back, we got y'all one. I hate y'all, we cast it out. As y'all know, y'all watch my previous videos. The big 10 foot pin worth, you know, it's a heavy, fast mod. Um, I want to say it'll hold up to six ounces of lead, you know, lower weight. And what I mean by that, if some of you don't know, I mean basically what's on the end of your line. Your weight, your bait, everything. But you can put more than that. It just puts more stress on your on your gears and your rods. Um, then I use my quantum on a big game. You know, y'all know that's a, called the Papa Rod. That goes out to all the dads and the papas. And then I got Robbie's rod, which is a PN6000, and it's on a big cat rod. It's, Quantum's on a big cat rod, and the PN6000's on a big cat rod. Well, I got some of these also. As you know, my ugly sticks is broke. I can't use them. So I haven't replaced them. But I do got some of these that I use a lot in the lakes and the ponds and around the area. That's these Berkeley Big Game. Uh, they are 8 foot, medium heavy, I think. Yes, they are 8 foot, medium heavy. They'll hold up to a 4 ounce lead. You know, 4 ounce uh, on your line. So... I got a quantum that was on my on my ugly stick, so I took it off. I put it on a big game. I got a three ounce lid on it. What I might do tonight is I'm gonna use probably a four ounce circle hook. I mean a four ounce circle hook, and I'm gonna just load chicken up on it. I'm gonna just throw it to the bank line, you know, right here, right up under my feet, and go for what I know and see what happens. But uh, any of y'all want to know? You know, if you're not trying to spend the big money on rods, you know, the Ugly Stick makes a very affordable rod, and it's very durable, very good rod. I mean, <laughs> it was my, probably my first catfish rod. And then if you want another second choice to a, a, to a, a cheaper version, you know, not quite as good as the Ugly Stick, but close to the same price, uh, can be found at any Walmart, and that is the Berkeley Big Game. Actually, I don't think they are. Actually, I think the ugly sticks are roughly around about 40 bucks. These run you around about probably closer to 25, 30 after tax. So, but they are a very dependable rod. You know, if you need something in a pinch or if you're just not chasing, you know, big catfish and you just small bodies of water, but you know, you can reel them in on anything. As long as you know how to set your drag. And you wear that fish out. 
you can pull them in on anything. There is plenty of YouTube videos of people reeling them in on simple Zepco 33 reels with 10 pound test. I mean, big catfish. So it's not that you have to go out and buy big, big gear to catch fish. No, you do not. The bigger the gear you catch is typically mean you're going after larger fish. But if you're just trying to enjoy your Sunday evening, one of these, you can get the rod, put your reel on it. You got 75 bucks total max. And you got a catfish rod that will, you can fish most lakes, rivers, ponds, and you'll be very productive with it. I've caught a lot of catfish off of this, off of this actual rod right here, different reel, but this actual rod, you know, out of Lake Burton, field pot and stuff. So these are two piece rods, so they're kind of convenient. You know, you can unfold them, put them in your back of your car, back of your truck, toolbox, whatever not. But anyway, hey, we got them casted out. We're using cut bait on two rods. We're using chicken on another one. Hopefully when we come back, lines will be tight. Well, y'all, we got some of stealing bait again. Last two trips ain't nothing but, nothing but bait thieves. Man, I'm here today. Something is eating all the bait off my, my bank rod. But we did get this again. Got this little fire going back there, if y'all can see it. Heck yeah. Keep us warm tonight. <laughs> I can see the rise. I don't know what you say about it. Let's sit back and see what happens. Yeah, I see we got the fire rolling just right now. We're going to be warm until we're ready to go. Tell y'all what, that daggone quantum gets a daggone workout, boy. Oh man, old quantum gets a good workout. Start your nice, y'all. Got us a blue. I'm gonna say mm, 10, 12, maybe. Uh, let me get another light here so y'all can see better. Let me pause this and get a picture. Alright, y'all. There you go. 
Uh, let's get him back in the water. Yeah, that's what we're here for, y'all. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, I was on chicken. Chicken, y'all. Chicken breast. Oh, so it's been cool pulling on my cut bait, but uh, nothing yet. Oh, that's a nice one there. Hey, let's get y'all some more. Well, y'all, he's gonna get cast back out, and I went to look. My leader line, good lord, man, the nicks and the necks in it. I ain't had that happen in a long time. Glad I checked it. It could have been bad. All right, y'all. Note in this video. That cat right there had an awful small mouth. So I counted the rays right before I throw it back. Didn't have but 21. Well, that's typically a channel. The small mouth, the lesser rays. I'll have to go back and look later on at the pictures. If I ain't mistaken, it might even have been around it on the end fin instead of square, but we'll look at the pictures in tail. But with the few rays and the small mouth, we gonna count that one as a channel. Well, y'all, <clears throat> that quantum right there, something just tangled it up, something fierce. I got it untangled, I got it back in. Got that no rolls weight on it, flat chunk of it was gone out of it I don't know down close to the reel the line was out there but the line down close to the reel is all frayed up so I had to I finally got it in I pulled a bunch of it off I don't know it might not last much longer we might see the Berkeley come into effect here soon or I might change the reels out one I don't know something's hitting a 10 footer it's been playing with it it's got cut bait on it bluegill heat Pulled it down hard a minute ago. I would, as soon as I reached to pick it up, it let go of it. Let's hopefully he gets on it when we come back. <clears throat> 